Yeah, my name is Timothy Reese. I'm the Director of Business Development at General Dynamics Land Systems, and this is our Abrams Act technology demonstrator. And by that term, I mean we have taken an Abrams tank as it exists today, and we have added a whole bunch of new technologies to it that we have heard from the Army they are interested in, and we want to get feedback from the Army about which ones they find useful and which ones they don't find useful. One of the things we heard is the Army would like to go to a three-man crew or three-person crew instead of a four-person crew. So we took all three uh, crew positions, put them down front, which allowed us to make the turret smaller, shorter, lighter, and reducing the overall weight of the tank. By moving the crew to the front, we also moved the fuel tanks that are normally there, and we have a hybrid electric power pack in the rear, replacing the turbine that's on the Abrams today. It's a technology demonstrator. I would not call it the next variant because we don't yet know what the Army wants to do first. They may like all of the things that are on here or maybe only some of the things that are here. We're trying to get feedback from them to determine what we do next. It has a 120 millimeter cannon, so the same caliber of cannon as the Abrams, a different cannon system itself with an auto loader, so there's no human loading the round in the back. We've also replaced the 50 caliber machine gun on the turret with a 30 caliber lightweight cannon to see if that extra firepower is something that is desired by the Army. And we have trophy active protection system for 360 degree protection. We have a, a laser warning detector. We also have an ATGM shot detector, uh, optical and radar, and then some of the sensors control the switchblade munitions which are launched and remotely operated by the crew. Nobody in the turret. The member of the crew can get up in the turret to fix a problem if something uh, goes wrong, but normally the crew fights from all three in the hull. They sit side by side like a crew in an aircraft, and they share a common set of displays in which they maintain their situational awareness and operate all the systems of the tank. We, uh, we expect them to like some of the things we did and not like some of the other things and give us some feedback and direction so that we can evolve it to the next stage and advance it to another test or development exercise.